السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome dear students in our commercial subject group for level 3 in accounting 213. Today we are going to explain unit 6 financial statement analysis. This unit will cover the need for comparative analysis, the tools of financial statement analysis, and how we compute the horizontal analysis. What does it mean financial statement? We already learned the balance sheet in account 111. What does balance sheet mean? Balance sheet, total assets equal total liabilities and owner's equity. Okay, so total assets, we have current assets and fixed assets equal total assets. What does current assets? Current assets mean cash, account receivable, notes receivable. Okay, and fixed as assets, something fixed, okay? Like l uh, land, building, and ma uh, machines. So, total current assets plus total fixed assets equal total assets. Okay, and liabilities. Let's take a quick fresh. Account payable, notes payable, unearned service revenue, uh, plus the owner's ending capital equal total liability and owner's equity. Okay, let's see income statement. Income statement, it's sales minus sales return equal net sales minus cost of goods sold equal gross profit minus operating expense equal net income. Uh, you already talked it in accounting 212 for level 3. Okay. And analyzing financial statements. So, involve evaluating three features. We have to evaluate the liquidity, profitability, and solvency. Okay. Summary of comparative analysis. Why we need to do comparative analysis for financial statement? First, we have internal comparison. For internal comparison, we have, for example, company A. Company A, we want to do the comparison between this year result with the previous year result. Okay, for industry comparison, we have two company with the same industry. We want to compare company A with company B. Okay, and for competitors comparison, we have uh, for example, company A and company B, there is a competition between them and I want to do compare between them. Okay, and financial statement analysis. I have two tools or method. First method is horizontal analysis. We will learn it today. Vertical analysis, we will explain it in the next lesson. Okay, both tools or both methods we will apply them on balance sheet and income statements, okay? Even the vertical analysis, both we will apply the formula on balance sheet and income statements. Okay, uh, as we said, the tool is horizontal analysis and vertical analysis. Horizontal analysis, we evaluate the series of financial statements data over a period of time. For example, we have this year's data and the previous year's data, and I want to compare between them. Okay, in vertical analysis, we want to evaluate the financial statement data by expressing each item in the financial statements. Okay, let's move to the practical side in horizontal analysis. We can name it also trend analysis. Why we should do the horizontal analysis? I want to determine the increase or decrease of the financial statement data that takes a place in specific period. Okay, so the change we express it in amounts like BD or percentage like percent. Okay, we have two formula. We have to apply it in uh, measuring the horizontal analysis, the first formula, current result in relation to base period, in relation, 
when you say in relation the current year amount divided by the base year amount multiply by 100. The second formula, horizontal analysis of change since base year. Change since base year, it's the change of increase or decrease. The formula said current year amount minus base year amount is in a divided by base year amount multiplied by 100. Let's move to the first example. We have net sales figure for five years. Required express current year sales as percentage of the base period for the five years. Okay, so they mentioned in question base year is 2015. Okay, so this is the base year. Okay, let's see the solution. The requirement is the current result in relation to base year. So they said in relation mean I have to apply the first formula, which said the current year amount divided by the base year amount. Okay, let's start with 2019. 2019, the current amount is 50,000 divided by base amount. Look at the base year, it's 2015. It is 40,000 BD. So this is the base amount multiplied by 100 equal 125%. The same as 2018. 2018, the current year amount is 48,000. So just you copy the number divided by the base year amount in 2015. Multiply by 100 equal 120 person. The same for 2017 and 2016. Okay, but for 2015, as you see, the relation is 100% because the current year amount equal to the base year amount, 40,000 divided by 40,000 multiplied by 100 equal 100%. Okay, let's see example number two. We have net sales figure for four years. The base amount or the base year is 20,000, which is 2016, the oldest year in the question. Required, major all percentage of increase or decrease in net sales. Okay, they want to measure the percentage of increase or decrease. Using horizontal analysis, they mentioned it, horizontal analysis. Okay, so we have to apply the second formula because the second formula said current year minus the base year amount divided by the base year amount multiplied by 100. Okay, let's start with 2019. 2019 is 28,000. Okay, the formula said the current year amount, we copy it, 28,000 minus 20,000. 20,000, the base year amount. Okay. Base year amount, 20,000, divided by 20,000, multiply by 100, the same as 2018. The amount for, the, for the current year, 25,000, just we copy it in the formula. And the same, just we apply 20,000 minus 20,000 over 20,000, multiply by 100, the same as 2017, just we copy the current amount. And the same for 2016. The current amount will be the same as the base amount equal 0%. Okay? Example 3. Now, we'll apply the formula, the second formula for the balance sheet. We have balance sheet for two period, 2018 and 2019. 2018 is the base period, okay? And 2019 is the current period required. Compute all percentage of increase 
or decrease increase or decrease it means the second formula okay what does the second formula say say let's see we have as we said balance sheet we have the amounts for 2018 and 2019 first of all we have to apply the fo the formula which is percentage change of increase or decrease once we, they said increase or decrease i have to apply this formula which is current year amount minus base year amount divided by base year amount multiply by 100 okay 2019 is the current current year okay the new year 2018 is the base year okay the old year okay now the requirement is the amount and the percent let's calculate first the amount the amount equal current year minus base year equal the amount okay current minus base year let's start with current assets the current amount for 2019 is 6,000 the base amount for 2018 is 10,000. The amount is 6,000 minus 10,000 equal 4,000 minus. So it is decrease. Why decrease? Because the current year is less than to, uh, the base year amount. Okay, so the amount is 4,000. Let's apply the percent. The formula said 6,000, okay, which is current year amount minus 10,000 divided by 10,000, which is the base year amount, okay, equal 40%. Okay, the same for fixed assets. Let's move to current liability. Current liability, we have 4,000 minus 5,000 equal 1,000. Why 1,000? Because the current amount is less than the base amount. Okay, let's apply the formula. 4,000 minus 5,000, which is the base year amount, okay? This is the current year, okay? The same as here. This is the current year. Equal 20%. Okay? The same for long term liability, total liability, stockholders, equity, the same. Let's move to the total liability and stockholders' equity. We have 76,000 minus 45,000 equal 31,000. This time is plus, it's not minus. So the amount increase. Why increase? Because the, the current year is more than the base year. Okay, that's why the amount increased by 31,000. Let's apply the formula. 76,000, we copy it here, minus the base, sorry, the base amount, which is 45,000, divided by 45,000, equal 68.89. Okay. Now, let's move to the income statements. The same, we have... 2019 is the current year and 2018 is the base year amount. Okay, the requirement compute all percentage increase or decrease. As you can see, increase or decrease. So we have to apply the second formula. The second formula said current year amount minus base year divided by the base year. Let's see the income statements. 
Okay. 2019 is current year. 2018 is the old year or base year. Okay. Now we have to calculate the amount. The amount 2019 minus 2018 equal the amount here. Current minus base. Okay. Let's start with the sale. The sale is 42,000 minus 28,000 equal 14,000. Increase the amount increased by 14,000. Okay. Because in 2009 is more than 20, 2018, which is 28,000. Now, let's apply the formula. Formula said current year amount minus base year amount divided by base year amount equal 50%. The same for the rest. Okay, let's Let's take the net income. Net income is 3,000. The current amount, 3,000, minus the base amount. This is the base. This is the current. Equal the amount. So it's decreased by. Why decrease? Because it's minus. The answer is minus. Let's apply the formula. The formula said current amount, for example, 3,000 minus 6,000 divided by 6,000 equal 50% but decrease. Why decrease? Because it is minus. Okay, point to remember. Now, we have learned that, that the tool of financial statement analysis are horizontal analysis, vertical analysis, and ratio analysis. Uh, horizontal analysis is to determine the increase or decrease for the financial statement data over the, the specific period of time. This lesson, we explain the horizontal analysis, and the next lesson, we will explain the vertical analysis. Okay, let's start with exercise number one. The following information were extracted from the book of Lamia EST. Net sales for years 2018, 2019 are 50,000 and 75,000. So 2018 is the base year. Okay, the base amount. 2019 is a current year. So 75 is current year amount. The changing in percentage of net sales by using horizontal analysis is 150%. Is it true or false? Okay. First of all, we have to decide if it is the first formula or the second formula. Because he said changing in percentage, changing in percentage mean increase or decrease, so I have to apply the second formula. Second formula said current minus base amount divided by the base amount multiplied by 100. Okay, the current amount is 75,000 minus 50. 1,000 over 50,000 multiplied by 100, it will equal 50%. So now we can decide if it is true or false. And the question he said 150%. And the answer 50%. So. The answer is false. Okay, let's move to second exercise. If the company has supplies 25,000 in 2018 and 20,000 in 2019, 
okay? So 2018 is base amount, 2019 is current year amount, which is 20,000, okay? And for the base amount is 20,000, and this is the current amount. Okay, the question, the company has increased, he said increase in supplies by 20%. Increase mean the second formula. Second formula said current year amount minus base year amount divided by base year amount multiply by 100. The current is 20,000 minus base amount twenty five thousand divided by twenty five thousand it will equal minus twenty percent okay so the result is decrease decrease and not increase so the increase is wrong. So the answer is false. We reach to the end of the lesson. For more information, you can visit edunet.com and you can solve more exercise to, for more practice. Thank you for watching.